The gentle April rain that stained the window panes last night is all but gone, but lingers on in scented clouds of air. We watch the town awaken to the trembling morning lights. You're so near and spring is everywhere. We danced until the stars came out and spread across the sky. The wee small hours of morning all went by and day is here. We won't give up our dancing and across the floor we fly. When you are near, spring is in the air. I hold you so close. I Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Lotus Doll Shop's Balanced Lifestyle channel. Thanks for joining me today. If you happen to be new here, I'm Vaughn. I appreciate you for clicking on. So guys, if you are watching this video today while I'm filming, it's Valentine's Day. And I haven't done these one of these in quite some time and I think this is gonna be a really, really good one. Um, Welcome to my Valentine's Day cook with me. Guys, I am going to be making a hearty lamb tagine. You see what I did there? <laughs> so, um, first of all, guys, um, I love Moroccan food and I have been stalking this recipe. It sits in one of the books one of the Moroccan cookbooks that I have here in my kitchen. Um, every once in a while I want to play around. I bought myself a tagine a long time ago and if you've been watching the channel you know that I've cooked in this tagine a couple of times but I've never done red meat and lamb. Oh, When I want to do red meat and I want to do good red meat, mm-hmm, lamb. Um, now it's kind of quick in that it takes about two hours. I did all my prep work this morning, so we're gonna get into what the ingredients are because I cannot wait to taste this. Um, as you guys saw, I did a little run over to the DeKalb Farmer's Market here in Georgia. I love that farmer's market. There's always something new and I can always, always, always find ingredients no matter what country it's from, I can get it at the DeKalb Farmer's Market. So if you're here in Georgia and you're always looking to explore new cultures, new foods, that kind of thing, go and check out the DeKalb uh, County Farmer's Market. So great. And I also got a new wine, which I'm going to taste on camera with everybody once I finish the meal. So let's get into these ingredients. Let's get started. All right, guys, so here are the ingredients for my tagine of lamb with apricots, prunes, and honey. So I'm going to get started by, obviously, this is one pound of lamb stew meat, which could be um, a shoulder of lamb, if you will, if you want to go to your butcher and have them um, trim and cut all that for you. But I just got lamb stew meat because that's typically what lamb stew meat is made of lamb shoulder so that's about one pound of that this here is one tablespoon of olive oil and here is right here in the middle oops sorry right here in the middle here is my ginger guys this is one ounce of fresh ginger peeled and chopped now little backstory about this I don't even normally cook with fresh ginger. I usually get the powdered ginger, but when I peeled this and chopped it up this morning for my prep work, I could not believe the smell. I was standing in the bathroom brushing my teeth, um, and I said, uh, well, actually I brushed my teeth before, that's a lie. <laughs> um, after I had breakfast is what I meant to say. After I had breakfast and I was standing there, um, I don't know what I was doing, looking in the mirror or whatever, but I smelled it from the bathroom, from the kitchen to the bathroom. So, wow, fresh ginger, 
I'm already thinking about things to use it in because I bought a, a fair amount of it. And also I have here, um, these just are some saffron threads, which it just calls for one pinch of saffron threads. This is two tablespoons, actually, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. This is one onion, finely, well, half of an onion, finely chopped, guys. And for the garlic, I only did one large cup, uh, um, one large clove of garlic. Um, over here, back here, I've got a, um, a cup of dried pitted prunes that I soaked for one hour in some water. This is also some dried apricots that I soaked in lukewarm water for one hour. Um, this is one tablespoon of honey, which I'm gonna stick in the microwave because it calls for runny honey. And um, of course, we're gonna do a little salt and pepper to taste. And for this recipe on the side, I want to do some couscous which I could have done maybe like potatoes or something but I figure since it's like a a sweet kind of dish sweet and savory kind of dish I want to go with something a little bit lighter like some couscous now you could put a salad beside this if you wanted to do that too um, but I have greens every morning and this time I said no I'm not gonna do any greens so these are my ingredients and we are going to get started putting this together So close, I think you must feel my heart tremble. We're hand in hand, cheek to cheek, we're floating in midair. When you are near, spring is everywhere. We dance until the sun is. The gentle April rain that stained the window panes last night Is all but gone, but lingers on in scented clouds of air We watch the town awaken to the trembling morning light you're so near and spring is everywhere We danced until the stars came out and spread across the sky The wee small hours of morning all went by and day is here We won't give up are dancing and across the floor we fly when you are near spring is in the air i hold you so close i think you must hear my heart tingle we're hand in hand cheek to cheek and floating when you are near, spring is everywhere.
so close I think you must feel my heart tremble We're hand in hand, cheek to cheek We're floating in midair When you are near, spring is everywhere We dance until the sun is down And stars are in your eyes Spring is here, I feel it The gentle April rain that stained the window panes last night Is all but gone, but lingers on in scented clouds of air We watch the town awaken to the trembling morning All right guys, so the lamb tagine is done but before we get started with plating that up i want to tell you all about this new wine i decided to try so as you saw at the top of the video when i went to the farmer's market i always visit the wine section because they literally have two lanes just full of wines and in my case i was looking for french reds because those happen to be my favorite uh, the Bordeaux, the Pinot Noirs, those kinds of things like that. So I decided to try a new wine. Um, I am, let me push that back a little bit, uh-oh. There we go, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, I am partial to, um, they can't be too dry, so it depends on the wine type. Now. This time, I decided to try something French that I have never tried before, and it's a little bit out of the ordinary for me. This is La Roque's 2020 Cabernet Franc. This is what that looks like, guys. I'm in the camera, so I'm not gonna take it. There it is. Okay, so normally I don't even like Cabernets at all, but I read the back of this in. I know it's probably weird for most people, but when I go, whether I'm in Trader Joe's, whether I'm in Kroger, Publix, or whatever, um, the farmer's market buying wine, I always um, stand there with my phone and get reviews on the wine so I can know what I'm taking home before I take it home. Now, they did tell me that this wine was a little bit drier, but it is a Cabernet, so that's to be expected. I typically don't like Cabernet Sauvignon, anything like that, because it's just too dry for me. But this one caught my eye because I read it and it says La Roque Cabernet Franc is a medium body because it's medium body, fresh and fruity wine with luscious flavors of red berry fruits and vanilla. Love red berry fruit wine and vanillas, of course. And it says, enjoy it alone or pair with Mediterranean cuisine, pasta, lamb, chicken, pizza, and hamburgers. I'm dying to tear into this wine, but let's plate the meal first. <laughs> okay, so while the lamb was simmering with all, oh, first of all, it just smells so good in here. It's, it's not even funny. The air smells like cinnamon and meat. <laughs> so anyway, while the lamb was simmering, I made this couscous. I just did um, a clove of garlic, a quarter of, of an onion finely chopped, some fresh parsley, some butter, and some chicken stock. And I put this guy together. You know, it takes little to no time to do some couscous, guys. So we'll plate this up. Ooh. So good, and it smells so good too. Little 
bit more. There we go. Alright, got the couscous plated up. Look at that. Oh, God, it smells so good. <laughs> All right. Let's go to this over here to the side here. Oh, my God, that smells so good. Right in the middle. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely nothing like cooking with all the fruits. Oh, that. Oh, the smell is wonderful. Oh, the smell is so good. It smells so good in here. And more scoop. There we go. And look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, so good. Oh. oh, the smell. It just smells awesome, guys. Look at that. The meat is all tender and just got some savory couscous underneath that. I cannot wait to take a, take a, oh, I can't wait to taste it. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go ahead and give this a taste. Oh, I'm trying to get, I've never cooked with prunes before. It's just, oh my God, a little piece of that meat with some couscous on there. It's hot. Wow. It's just, it's so weird. It's, it's, it's like it doesn't, <laughs> a prune, mm -mm. you know what, I'm going to get one of these apricots. A prune with, with, with a piece of lamb. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. This is absolutely delicious, absolutely delicious. Okay, so first of all, guys, you don't have to cook this in a tagine, but I like the authentic Moroccan cooking in the authentic Moroccan pot. Now, I got mine from a store called Tamza over on Amazon. You can go over to Amazon and check them out and get you one. I think my tagine cost me about 75 bucks, not so bad. This is absolutely delicious. This is the cookbook that I got the recipe from. It's called Moroccan, A Culinary Journey of Discovery. Now, I had to half in this recipe because the original recipe feeds like six people. I don't need that much food. So I also learned how to make my apricot chicken with my almonds from this cookbook. It is absolutely awesome. And I'm more than sure you can probably find this on Amazon as well. Um, I can probably put, put them in my storefront. Um, 
and I know the Comsa store, the Tajine is in my storefront already and I'm not sure about this. So now that you got that, let's try this wine. It smells really, really good. Hmm. Okay, okay. This is a yes for me. Um, this LaRoe Cabernet Franc is a yes for me. I really thought because when I looked at the reviews, it said it was going to be dry. It's very, very good. It's not dry at all. Um, some dry wines just leave that weird tasting flavor in my mouth. And you know, to each his own, I prefer my wines semi-dry, not really heavily dry. So this is delicious. Guys, if you are looking for a heart tea, I <laughs> see what I did there. <laughs> Valentine's Day meal. This was quick to make. You can do it in a, a deep saucepan. Go and pick up that lamb stew meat. Make you some quick couscous. Couscous is so easy to make. And it's just a really, like I said, hearty, but really delicious and rich meal. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is all that I have for you. Like I said, today is Valentine's Day, and I hope that you will enjoy your Valentine's, Galentine's, whatever you're doing. Just celebrate love, guys, because I always believe celebrating love in all its forms. Um, make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok at L Von Love and Life, of course. Please make sure you check out the LDS Boutique on Poshmark at Lado LA where you can still get some really, really great deals. My New Year sale, my New Year clearance sale has ended, but you can always find really great finds over on my um, Poshmark Boutique and I'll get it out right to you. Um, make sure you're checking out all of my affiliates, Parade, Madam Glam, um, for gel nail polish, Bright and Smile, Abella Eyewear, Teddy Blake handbags. Um, guys, go check out all of my affiliates. You'll get some really great deals right now. And because it's the holiday season, you know, with the Valentine's Day, they're taking extra off here and there. So go and check that out. Guys, don't forget my debut CD, The Love and Light Versus, will be out come this summer. But the first single is coming out at the end of March. I really appreciate you guys' support on everything that I do, and I'm glad that I could have gotten a cook with me, and this one is a really, really good cook with me, <laughs> out um, to you, and I'm happy that I'm kind of jumping back into that. I love cooking. I don't always show you guys everything that I do, but I wanted to make something special for Valentine's Day. So, again, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I thank you all. Um, please subscribe if you have not already. Hit the notification bell so that YouTube can let you know every time I post a new video. Share my video with family and friends who enjoy beauty and lifestyle content. And leave me a comment. I'd like to know who's watching. And again, I appreciate you so much for watching. I hope you had a most enjoyable, delicious time. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. <laughs>